big and heavy. Spot 29. Oh. Goodness, it's unlocked. Unlocked? Unlocked. How in the world? I don't know. It's like, we get some bizarre stuff like that. That's I mean, like such a nice truck. Let's just leave it unlocked. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. I always grab the door handle just to check, but I never expect it to be unlocked. Ever. But we run into a lot of them at all. I know. So crazy. Well, I guess you can go ahead and walk down the stairs. Yeah, that'll save some commotion. Mm hmm. Gun. Are you kidding me? Unlocked. Crown Royal bags, gun hanging out of the. Oh goodness. Wow. Way to secure your... Wow. A handgun. And I know I know we've I've said this before, you know, it's it's no big deal. It's really not. It's I, I carry a handgun either on me or in my console. I have handguns in my shop. I have handguns at the house. It's legal. It's legal. I love it. It's it's an amazing thing because you know we we do we get a lot of of bear and and um, you know just it, it's just a, it's a good thing to have around on, on our safety. wildlife. We've had we've had bobcats and and coyotes coyotes and and just all sorts of situations where handguns are a good thing. But you c come on if you're not responsible enough to secure that in a locked vehicle and, and you know we always got we always worry too about you know our situations where people are they're upset with us and um is another reason that is the only reason that i point out handguns guys i'm not pointing them out because it's a bad thing i'm not uh i'm not saying that they're doing something wrong or that i don't like I, the only reason I don't like it is because, yes, you're, you're going to be upset with me because I towed your car. And I want to document that that, that is there. It's, you know, I'm, I'm not responsible for, for the crazy stuff. So uh, I, just like to, I just like to cover myself the same way we do uh, when we do walk-arounds of, of damage and scratches and, and things like that. Stuff in the bed of the truck. So, you know, if this guy comes to me and says, well, I... I had a handgun there and it's gone now and you took it. Well, it's it's all on camera. We noted that it was there. I noted that his door was unlocked because there there could be he could have had he could have had another handgun under the seat or another one in the glove box and he'd say, "Well, that was there before you towed it." Well, sir, that vehicle was also unlocked when I towed it. So, that is a short explanation on on that situation guys and I because what I did I get I got a little I got a few comments on the last time that I pointed out a handgun and, and those are my reasons and um, and I'm just gonna put it out there that is irresponsible gun ownership uh, your yeah. gun is in an unsecured vehicle in the door panel that is irresponsible downtown we have thousands hundreds of thousands of people in town right now it's it's a Saturday we've got kids walking up and down alleys and I'm not saying somebody's gonna, you know, get in there, but hey, this is the world we live in. Uh, you know, we've uh, we've lived through yet another mass shooting in a high school. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just it's just part of it. They they make us feel safe. They do, but please, please do the responsible thing with your with your property. And, and uh, you know, if you're gonna be mad at me, don't shoot me. <laughs> and we have it on camera if you do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're we're back. We're we're headed back to the lot oh, with this one and it's a big truck.
and it is like I said it's super busy I, I've not seen it this busy since since our heavy uh, tourist months July and August but the it was backed up from from downtown Gatlinburg all the way back to uh, past the Alamo past it was way past the Alamo I was almost back to our lot which mm -hmm. we're on uh, Newman Road so it was a uh, it's quite the ordeal I want to push this thing away from me a little bit more But yeah, anyway guys, it's busy, super busy. We're gonna get this back to the lot and um, see how upset he's gonna be with us. Hopefully not much. We will, the vehicle will be a lot more safe and secure in our parking lot. Where we will lock it. Where we will lock it and mm -hmm. it is gated. So I may never get out of here. I may never get out of here. <laughs> There's two cars this way. Sometimes you just have to go. Yeah, after the second car you're dead. Okay, stick around, stay tuned. Everything auto? Yes, yeah, sir. Um, I guess my truck got towed. I need to figure out how I can get it back. What, what kind of truck and where was it at? It, it was, it's a 2021 GMC Sierra AT4. It's a steel metallic color. And it was right inside this country inn and suites and right inside the church permit parking only sign. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, they called us for removal on that one. Um, as long as you're the registered owner, ID matches registration, we can release the vehicle back to you. Okay. Uh, the cost so the cost associated is. Sir. Can you hear me? Cash. Yes, sir. Yeah, we can't do uh, card or checks on the illegal parks. All right, y'all got an ATM near y'all? Um, I think there's a couple downtown. Uh, there, there's in and around the area. There's there's several. Yeah. Alright, so what I need to do to get it back once I get the money? Uh, 221 Newman Road is the impound lot, and I don't keep anybody there on the weekends, but if you are if you can tell me about what time you're going to be here to pick it up, I can get somebody over here to meet you. Alright, well, hold up. Let me write that address down. Okay. 221 what? Newman Road. Okay. Alright, that's 13 minutes away from me. Do y'all have Ubers or anything around here? Um, I mean, you just have to call around. We've got Ubers and uh, and uh, trolleys and cabs and there's there's a whole mess of things. We we usually use Ben's Taxi. They help us out a lot with uh, uh, with that sort of stuff. B N Z Taxi. You might try them first. All right, hold up. Let me write that down. Say that again one more time, sir. Uh, Ben's Taxi. B E N Z Taxi. Yeah, they're local to the Gatlinburg area, and sometimes they're a little faster. All right, you said cash yes sir all right okay well let me try and find an atm and can i just call this number back whenever we finally get a ride to go to this address yeah you can call this number or you can text this number whatever works best for you but just let me know kind of when you're going to be at the gate okay well i'm going to do my best it's 5 14 now i gotta find an atm because i don't have cash on me and then i'm gonna say it's gonna probably be 30 minutes to an hour okay all righty, we'll, uh, we'll just wait to hear from you and we'll get somebody over there. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. You boys got a parking permit? If I don't see a permit displayed, you should probably move on. You're right by the sign. Maybe next time. Everything auto? Hi, man. Hey, buddy. Hey, I just talked to you early on the phone about my truck being towed. I'm headed that way, and we got about five minutes left. Okay, I'll uh, get somebody over there to gate. Uh, All right, thank uh, you, man. Uh, I appreciate uh, it. Uh huh. Thank you. Bye. Hey guys, registered owner. Hello. You, you got keys? I'll bring it up here to you if you are ID matching. I might want to show you my registration and stuff. Just, uh, just ID. We already run it through the okay through the stuff. Just making sure I'm giving the truck back to the right person. Hey, look, man, I can only get dollars. I'm sorry, man. That's that's the fees for the illegal park, man. I we got the money. Why is it dog? You don't mind me asking? Is that just a standard? The standard fee for, for the y'all get to keep the money, or does it go? It, it's for the company, yeah. Okay, yeah. What's it yeah. You guys staying at the hotel or? Okay, yeah, like 45 minutes down the road. Just, we're in a server deal. We're here. We're from Alabama. Just find a spot there. 
Yeah, it was a yeah. church parking lot. There ain't there nothing about it. Portals. Yeah, it's they they rent those spots out to employees. So if you've seen the, the numbers that are on the ground, every employee's got a they rent those okay. so they have a place to park when they come to work. When they come to work and you've got their spot, then they'll call for removal. Wait, you, you need a truck park before you get cash. Oh yeah, yeah. Well I mean it's 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 definitely we'll make sure we 20, 40, 60. Yeah. What do you think I was going to get your, keep your money in your truck too? Well, well, yeah, absolutely. You realize you left it unlocked too with your handgun loaded in the in the car door, cold I, beer in I, there. I told him, I said, I think I left the damn You absolutely did, man. That's uh, that's kind of crazy for all the people running around downtown there too. Yeah, brother, man. There's those keys. Clips in the bag, yep. Okay, uh, she got, uh, <laughs> the gal thought she's gonna get a little rowdy, I guess. She's like, wait a minute, don't give him any money. I want the truck first. What do you think? I'm gonna keep your money and your truck? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, he needs to make sure that it's that it's okay and he wants to check it all out. And then that's when I let him in on his, his handgun secret. And Man, I know, I thought I did. Is that a tow truck or is that just like his service truck? We called you guys, so if you guys wanted, I mean, I don't know, he just showed up, so. Who is it? Oh, God. <laughs> right. Mm. I'll go look, I don't know. Okay, well, yeah, Alvy just said that she had called before I got here. She called before yeah. you got here? She called Caps, I guess. Okay. That's probably let best to bow out of that one anyway. He's uh, Yeah, he's gonna yeah. have a fun one. Yeah. Do you wanna hit a Yui right there? You wanna pull in here? Traffic? Yeah, yeah, that's All cool. Right. You better go talk to him. Better go talk to Cap. He's walking down here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's she, happening, buddy? She called me to come and tow this. Yeah, no, yeah. Two trucks and I are getting it out without turning it over. If you don't appear to. Yeah, absolutely. Me. Yeah. You hook on one end, I'll hook on the other end, and we'll probably just scoot it out of the hole. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. If that's good with you. Yeah, I love it. Uh, you, you're about turned, but I'll pull up there and get a hold of the back and let you back up and get the front. Okay. It's it in works, a, it works. Yeah. It's in a little. The bank's forced out. If you go forward or back or either end, the damn thing's not going to turn over. Turn over. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. If you, you don't care, we'll do that. Yeah. You said that, fine with her. that sounds good. Thank you. My goodness, look at the traffic backed up. I believe that was an olive branch you were just offered. Kind of seems that way, doesn't it? Mm hmm. I was ready to bow out because I don't want the drama, but.
Okay guys, we got that. I don't even know what that thing was. It was an Acura MDX. I'm so sorry, that's very bright. I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do that so that we can see it. Acura MDX. Um, so that, that came in as a city call. Uh, we responded and just like things happen a lot, uh, coming to find out I, the, the, the gal that was the owner of the vehicle had called another tow company to come and help her. And, and I'm not sure which phone call came in first, whether the whether the city called or whether she got a hold of, of Cap first. But regardless of the situation, it turned out really cool, guys. So, you know, from our previous video, you know, me and Cap, we had a little run, run around there with, uh, with the same situation. Customers calling in and, and calling multiple tow companies and just seeing who's gonna show up first. And, you know, unfortunately in our business, in our line of work, that's what happens. And, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not a tow company's fault. You know, I, you, you, you're upset about it and you get there and you just have to smile and grin and, and just move on, guys, because it's not, you know, I, I can't blame Cap for something and, and you know, he, he, he can blame me, I guess, if he wants. <laughs> no, Cap's a good dude. He really is. You know, our last video, you know, you, you guys seen our snow recovery. It, it kind of didn't go off very well there, but, you know, we arrived on scene here and, and Cap could have very well gotten that recovery by himself. I, I, there's no doubt in my mind that, you know, he could have hooked uh, front and back and pulled that one out of there. But, you know, he he smiled and he said, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to damage the vehicle. I don't want to turn it over. And this could really use two trucks if you want to, if you want to help me. So my goodness, guys, you know, the world is, the world is full of, of, uh, of hateful things. And that just, that shows you it right there. You can, you can get through a situation. We can work together and uh, accomplish the same goals and and there's there's plenty of things going on when where we need each other's help and and i hope that uh you know i hope that cap watches the channel if he does you know big thanks again and you know I, this won't be the last time that that i need his help or he needs my help it, it it definitely won't and it's and it's nice to know that when we get into these situations that we can work together because you know it, at the end of the day this this lady's in trouble she's about to lose her car to a very big creek bed the the whole road had uh, collapsed there so guys you know if you're in the area like i said you know big shout out to cap because that that was you know that was a stand-up thing to do and and uh he he allowed me to help since i was there and and at the end of the day like i said we both we got the job done safely there was absolutely no damage to that lady's car it was very muddy uh, we got a little bit of mud scraped off the front bumper and, and got it pulled away from the wheels, but there was no scratches, there was no scuffs, and it was an inch away from being on its side in that creek. So um, luckily we got there fast and we worked uh, we worked it out and and uh, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I mean, that, that made my night. Hopefully it, uh, it makes some more. So drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think about that. You know, I got, I got a lot of people that, that are in the same towing field 
uh, industry as, as we are and you know uh, I'm sure in your hometown you've got another company that's on the west side of town and you're on the east side of town and and you you work through the same situations that we do here so um, you know drop a, drop a comment down below because I've heard Erie? Yuri. Yuri. Yuri I'm sorry. from Washington. Yuri, I'm sorry. I, I, I probably, I'm, I'm bad with names anyway. But Yuri from Washington had, you know, he came down to the area uh, and to meet us, and uh, he, he had told me that uh, he just couldn't. His 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 companies wouldn't wouldn't give him the time of day, and they wouldn't help him out in any way. And um, I felt really sad for him because you know he was he was just out trying to do the same thing as as we're doing. So working together is very important, guys. It is very important. So drop a comment down below. Like I said, we, we love hearing uh, from everybody on, in this towing field, uh, you know, what their situation is in their hometown and, you know, how, how things work and how things work smoothly. <laughs> Grease the wheel. Grease the wheel, guys. So stick around. Stay tuned. Got more coming your way. It is a Saturday night. Cooling off. I can see my breath. Maybe. See you next time. Big old white truck right there that somebody's parked behind. Ben's is parked behind. Hey, can you scooch forward so we can grab this truck? Thank you. really loud hopefully Kendra can mute that thank you Kendra love you it's big it's a 350 okay I'm going to sign right there sign right here I was serious about wanting to ride with you guys sometimes <laughs> before my book comes out. Heck yeah, man. That'd be fun. We'll make it happen. <laughs> oh, this should be a good one, man. It's been crazy. It's been crazy stuff. Oh, it's been another By the looks of 321 this morning. Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. It's what a change from two days ago, right? I don't know. This whole day's been insane. I've been out of town all week. I got to get out of the
out of here somehow. Okay. I'm, I'm facing that way. Like Ben's is blocking the road over here too. Well, go that way. I mean, uh, go this way. I'll we'll probably have to. Probably have to. Okay, I'll watch your front end here. I should not allow drunk people to sing. truck going down the road backwards. <laughs> These people at the bar over here, that's what they're saying. He's on it. Sing us a little something about illegal parks, my friend. <laughs> Let's hear it. I was thinking about backing up and getting out of town. Uh, I will parade it right down the parkway. Why not? Look, there's city guys. Hello, city guys. Working hard on a Saturday night. There's no backing up. Okay, I can probably shut this off. The EE truck? Oh, EE. Everything auto? Yeah, they just towed our truck, so I was trying to figure it out. Uh, what what kind of truck you got? An F 250. Platinum. F 350 Platinum, sorry. Uh, yeah, they're at Shamrocks Parking. Yes, ma'am. There was not a tow away, tow away sign there. They just put that there. Uh, there, there were two. They've got all kinds of signs there, ma'am. I'm sorry. Well, I, my parents were there with us. We looked around. 
Okay. Yeah, I mean, they, they called us for the removal. It was their employee parking lot, so you'd have to take that up with them. Yeah, well, they're rude. <laughs> but can I, um, get, can you tell me how much and where we need to go? Yeah, the, uh, as long as you're the registered owner, ID matches registration, we can release the vehicle back to that owner. The, the cost is... Okay. Um, do you know, like, where we go? Because <laughs> uh, we're kind of stuck without a truck. It's uh, 221 Newman Road in Gatlinburg. Okay. Alrighty. Um, can we come, like, where's, we have reservations to eat. Will it be, like, okay if it was a couple of hours? <laughs> Uh, we don't keep anybody over here at the lot on the weekends. If you guys are coming after it, I, we're still here to close. Down. Where's it at? Okay, I guess we'll come. Okay, uh, yeah, but we'll uh, we'll stick around here and wait then. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you. He didn't sound very happy. She sounded. But there's signs everywhere. They just put one up. Come on. There were two others. Two mm -hmm. other signs. Yeah, there were two signs. <laughs> and they were parked right in front of the two other ones. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they're on the way. Everything auto. Hey, I just called about the truck. What did you say that my phone won't load? So what did you say the Newman, what was it? Uh, 221 Newman Road in Gatlinburg. Okay, 221. Okay, we're trying to get to our parents' car. We can get it. Okay, okay. So yeah. we're, we're about to be there. We'll come, we'll head there. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hey, buddy. Well, I'm glad I caught you before we headed out anyway. Yeah. Man, I swear to you, that... I walked around my truck one whole circle and there was not a sign there. When yeah. I walked up, there was a brand new sign hanging. Really? And I asked him, I said, y'all just put that sign out there. No, I've been working here for years. I promise you that sign's been there. I said, you lied to me now. Yeah, I don't know, man. They, they just, I yeah, know they, it, ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with y'all. Yeah, they call us to come and <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, You're always better to, I know that, pay, man. Pay to park in Gatlinburg, <laughs> dude. It's, it's rough. If you've got keys, man, I'll bring it up here for you. They, yeah. Insurance just won't let me have you on the lot we'll get you a receipt here i was literally on the sky bridge hitting my lock button and i could see my truck right really? before we came down well anytime we tow down through there we always get people goofing off hey that's my truck so we never yeah. i've had I people was on the sky bridge and i was like i told my step i was like look at this shit. my truck reaches from here and i'm watching my truck blink really we get, as soon as i got done i got on the lift and came down and the truck's gone how, how long was it when i called you uh i had just locked this gate when you called me and I was getting ready to head back out. Yeah, so. I'm glad I called you because we don't have a vehicle. But it been, I mean, you got to been there. You've been there for at least two, three hours. I've been there for a while. But I'm saying. Yeah. I, when I hit my button, I know my truck was there. And then when we come down, it got, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's crazy. I. <laughs> Gee whiz, man. That's a handful of a truck. I know that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a. That's a good deal. <laughs> Let me get you this receipt, brother. Right. Have fun, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. You too.